Just want to say thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Today we are going to continue in the same line of trusting for the manifestation, the year of manifestation. We trust in God for the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit this day. So let's keep our minds open. The one thing we understand about the gifts of the Spirit is that there is no qualification. You don't have to mature to 11th or 12th grade before you can get any of the spirits. It's a gift. Amen. So beloved, let us just unmute this morning and just pray and thank God for the opportunity to be alive this morning and come in his presence. Let us pray. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the night that passed, Lord. Thank you for its sleep. Thank you, Lord, for its rest. Thank you, Father, for preserving us throughout the night. Thank you for keeping us and making us, making it possible for us to see this new day. On mute, beloved, let us pray. And we thank you because this day, oh Lord, is a day that you have made for us to rejoice and be glad. Papa, we come with us this best days of oh, our life yet. Heavenly Father, expect you to see our good Lord. Oh, more gracious God, our Father. Trust you, and you alone, O God, our Father, who brings this day and make it every, every aspect of this day, Lord, to surrender into your hands. We say, turn it around, O oh, gracious God. Turn the day around. Turn the day around. Turn the day around. Turn the day around. We can experience your goodness in the area of the Father. The wicked one has stopped something in this house that they will trust you, that you will turn it around for our good. We just honor you this morning, Father. We bless your sacred name. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Good morning, family. May we grab our communion mm. as we remember Jesus Christ. We we'll begin reading from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 1 to 2. And I'll read this from the two translations. We are believing God that will manifest the gifts of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Bible Amen. tells us Amen. here that, therefore, that's a new international version. It says, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because mm -hmm. through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Amen. Amen. If we're reading this particular portion of scripture only from the NIV, then we miss the most important part of this verse. Because like most of us already know, portions of scripture have been taken out of the Bible. Amen. Mm -hmm. So now let's read it from the New King James Version. And then we see the difference and see why it's most important that we don't miss this part. It says, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Now it tells you the part which was taken out. Amen. Who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Do we see that? Mm -hmm. Then it says that for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Today, we want to begin by looking at this portion of scripture because as children of God, it is very important that we do not walk in condemnation. The Bible says that there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Meaning that if you walk mm -hmm. according to the flesh, you live in condemnation even as a child of God. Amen. Amen. Now we are trusting the Father that we will manifest spiritual gifts. But if you and I continue to walk in condemnation, then we cannot be good carriers of and good dispensers of spiritual gifts. Because remember that spiritual gifts are for the benefit of the body of Christ. So it's like dispensing water, giving water from a dirty jar and expecting everybody to be cleansed. Amen. 
But that is not the case. That is not our portion. So this morning, as we get into praying concerning spiritual gifts, let's remember that we ought not to walk in condemnation. Otherwise, even though it is a gift, it will not be beneficial to anybody because it is coming from a vessel of condemnation. We do not have to be mature. We do not have to be in the 11th grade, like Pastor has said, in order to have these gifts because it is a gift. But we have to be mature in our use of it. Very important. Otherwise, it benefits no one. Amen. Amen. So Amen. on this foundation, with the understanding that we ought not to function with the spirit of condemnation, I would like us to properly discern the body of Jesus Christ. In your heart, may you ask the Lord to forgive you for walking in condemnation. For, forgive you Amen. for walking after the flesh, not after the spirit. Amen. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 11, 27. So then whoever eats the, the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. How can you and I partake of the cup and the bread in an unworthy manner is when we live in condemnation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Live in condemnation that we come before the Lord and say, you know what, I appreciate everything you have done, but I don't want to actualize it anyway. I just appreciate it. That's an unworthy manner. So I want us to have a proper approach this morning. Amen. Mm -hmm. A proper approach as we eat the bread and drink the cup. Let's do it worthily, not unworthily. For, for the glory of God, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. So I'd like us to lift up this bread, all the elements before the Lord and thank him. He died so that we could have the best of life. So this morning, our declaration is that, Father, we appreciate Jesus Christ and we appreciate his sacrifice. Therefore, we have mm -hmm. come to this table to partake worthily and one of the areas of our lives is the area of condemnation. We disapprove ourselves excessively, yet we come to your table to receive what you, are, you have for us. We ask that may you forgive us, even as we remember Jesus this morning, because our desire is to partake of the body and the blood in a worthy manner. Therefore, we say thank you for the body of Jesus Christ. Thank you for everything that this body endured it endured pain, it endured condemnation from others so that we will not have to endure condemnation of ourselves in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus took upon himself condemnation so that we will not have to be condemned in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So let's break the bread and partake of it. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us that the blood of Jesus Christ is for the remission of our sins, meaning the forgiveness of our sins. Meaning that this morning, as we ask the Lord to forgive us and to cleanse us, we're doing so worthily because the blood of Jesus has the potential to do so, to cleanse us and to forgive us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So Father, we mm -hmm. thank you for the blood of Jesus that has a cleansing power to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Condemnation is, un, is an unrighteous act. So Father, we thank you because the blood is cleansing us. We thank God because the blood is, is forgiving, had forgiven us, and we have come to receive forgiveness at the table in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is our portion. It is our identity in Christ Jesus. Therefore, mm -hmm. Lord, we receive forgiveness that which is already available to us this morning. And our desire is that we will no longer walk in condemnation so that we can be those vessels that will be useful for the body of Christ as you dispense your gifts through us to the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Let's put it together. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Once more, beloved, let us prepare our minds 
of manifestation. Prepare our minds for manifestation. Amen. We are here to manifest. Amen. And like has been said, there is no qualification to receive a gift. And this gift is a gift of the spirit to enable us to manifest. So let us, let us just pray this morning according to Psalms 110 verse 3. The, the word of God tells us when you go to war, your people will serve you willingly. You are arrayed in holy garments and your strength will be renewed each day like the morning dew. You love yes. their prayer points on the line, which are relevant to the manifestation of the spiritual gifts. So let us let us unmute and begin to pray this morning. Our uh, Father and our God, Daddy, we say thank you. Thank you for this thank morning, Lord. Lord. We have gathered. We have gathered. Heavenly Father, we wish to receive from you the gifts of the Spirit. We have come, Lord, to receive from you the gifts of the Spirit. We pray this day that you will not pass us by. Not pass us by, O oh God. May we, Father, even at this time, may we be able, Lord, to manifest. Be a tangible presence in our lives, become apparent to Father, so that we manifest the gifts of the Spirit. I pray this morning, I say, Father, I pray and call for my relevant destiny, all the volunteers who are here to serve me willingly. Lord, I call them. I call for the apostles, call for the prophets, call for the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers, oh God. For them forth, Father. And I pray, Lord, that you will help me to me to align the impartations impartations evangelists, Lord. The pastors and the teachers help me, Lord, to align with the impartation. So that, Father, even through impartations, I can receive even through Heavenly Father, you are intervention. I can receive from you. Father, we pray for the grace to submit to the training and become mature with the stature reaching the measure of the fullness of Christ. Lord, we rely on you, that we depend on you. Gabriel, so we are started. This time, we are seeking the rabbi's shot. Father, we rely on you. We rely on you, Father. We pray for the grace. That you will pray for the grace. The they do not pass us by this morning. Do not pass us by this morning. Look at the commitment of your children in this season. Look at the sacrifices of all of your children in this season. Do not pass us by. Do not pass us by. Father, Papa, we see that we pray. You will deposit in our midst. You will deposit in our midst. That will be true. 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 In our midst, that which you have given the evangelists in our midst, Lord, that which you have given the pastors in our midst, in this place of manifestation, giving the teachers in our midst, but we pray that it shall manifest also in our life, it shall manifest also in our life, but we come to receive by and to receive, O oh, Heavenly Amen. Father, that every person who is in our Lord, to receive that revelation, we confess our sins. Oh Lord, we trust in you. We trust you this morning. That indeed, Lord, we shall manifest in the gifts of the Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. It's a training. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 6 and 7, the word of God says, and there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. Amen. Amen. So let us Amen. pray this morning 
Let us pray this morning that the omnipresent spirit of God, God is, the Holy Spirit is always here, always here. But when the Holy Spirit's presence becomes apparent in your life, that is when you experience manifestation. Amen. Amen. So let us pray that this uh, manifestation shall become our portion, that the Holy Spirit's presence will become apparent in our lives. And let him help us to be humble, forgiving, selfless, and generous. We want to remember that this, the, the, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the profit of all, for the benefit of all. So we, we maturity, we're going to carry ourselves in a humble, forgiving, selfless, and generous manner. Amen. We want to ask for clarity of vision, clarity and eloquence and honesty in our speech and in maturity in our delivery. Beloved, let us, let us pray this morning for the manifestation of the Spirit of God. Let's pray. Oh, Father, Lord. Heavenly Father, we say thank you once more, Lord. Your yeah, oh, word, oh God, that reminds us we pray, of the necessities of activities. You all come the power, the power of God, causing things to happen in our midst, bringing about manifestation. All of the same God, you, Father, who works in all of us. So, Lord, this morning we pray for the manifestation of the Spirit of God, that you give us for the benefit of you all. Father, we pray, oh, meet present Spirit of God, we pray this morning, and all Lord, Father, Lord, that your presence comes more apparent in our lives to your manifest, manifest in the name of, the name of Jesus. Lord, in 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 the name of Jesus
Amen. In your position yourself to receive the gifts of the Spirit this morning. Yes. Speak to your inner man and say, this is my day. I am here Amen. to receive. I cannot be Amen. passive in the kingdom. I am an active participant. Amen. Amen. The Father's word tells us in 1 Corinthians 12 verse 8, say, for to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same spirit. So we want to receive the word of wisdom, which is a supernaturally inspired word that instructs us to solve problems or to give answers to situations. Amen. So as we are praying this morning, let us ask, let us ask for this, the, the, the word of wisdom to manifest in our lives. Yes. Lord, ask and it shall be given unto you. Amen. Yes. So Amen. Let, let us pray. Father, we come this morning, Lord, Father, Lord, to I ask, Father, Father God, God, we yes. ask God, with humble God, the God, God, Lord, the Lord, Lord, the 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 I, I cry to you this morning, and I ask, Father, you know me to bring up your word to solve the problem at the level of individual or the community of the world, to solve the problems in 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 the world, to solve the problems continue to that only you can give God. In Jesus' name. Our God will pray in Jesus' name. As we've already we as we continue to pray this morning. Amen. It yes. says, 1 Corinthians 12, verse 8, say, for the, to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. We are mm -hmm. asking God for the manifestation of the word of knowledge. Don't yes, feel yes. like I have asked for manifestation of the word of wisdom, so I cannot get the word of knowledge. It is possible to function fluently in all the gifts of the spirit. Amen. Especially when you walk in a team and one of the members who manifests in one of the gifts is missing, but there is need. Somebody will just flow in that gift. Amen. Amen. So let us ask the Lord this morning for the word of knowledge of things yes. 
that we would not otherwise acquire through learning. No amount of going to school will help you to get that kind of knowledge. Amen. So Amen. let us ask the Lord this morning for the word of knowledge, for the Amen. word of knowledge. We know how Ananias and Sapphira, when they sold their property and they came, Peter exercised or demonstrated the word of knowledge because the spirit of God deposited in him the understanding that they were not telling the truth. Amen. So let that be our portion, even as we pray and ask God for that which was done in the life of Elisha. Let us also pray this morning and ask for the manifestation of the word of knowledge. Beloved, let's unmute and pray. Precious God, our Father, we pray this day, O oh God, for the manifestation of the word of knowledge through your Holy Spirit in our life. Lord, we come to ask of you because your word has told us that when we ask, it shall be given to us. And your word has told us that these are good things that we should ask for. O oh Lord, we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning. Because your word says they are good things to ask. They are asking, oh Father, they are asking of the things that have already been done in heaven so that they will be made manifest in our lives. Holy Spirit of the living God, we pray that the manifestation of the word of knowledge shall be apparent in our lives. Oh God, that even as Elisha was able to advise the king of Israel concerning the plan of the king of Nubia. The things, oh God, that the king of Nubia discussed with his inner core, even in his bedroom, you planted with your servant Elisha. I pray that 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 I pray from the Bible and I'm and we pray also that as needed as the heavenly Father let it be said for us the flesh and blood did not reveal the things that must be revealed and it is said of us God that the flesh and blood did not reveal the things that must be revealed let it be for the heavenly Father that the revelations we pray for are revelations that have come from the Holy Spirit Spirit of the living God, we surrender to, to you, Dream of those Peter, Spirit to reveal Christ to us, his Spirit, we Father, that you will not leave us, that you, Lord, will not make us that we will not pass us by this morning, O gracious God, we cry to you, our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In love, we continue to trust God according to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. It says, To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, gifts of healings by the same spirit. Amen. Amen. The gift of, of the word of faith, the gift of faith, the love, is a unique ability to yes. trust God in all circumstances. Yes. Even when things look so hopeless, you oh, meet yeah. someone whose bones have been scattered. Mm. You look at it and say, these bones will come back together. In these Jesus. bones will come back together. That is the gift of faith. Amen. Amen. So may the Lord help us to demonstrate extraordinary confidence in his power and in his promises. Oh, Amen. Yes. Amen. We are asking God this morning to receive the wonder walking and the mountain moving faith. Amen. Yes. Amen. Beloved, let us unmute this morning and begin to pray. It is a good thing to ask for the gifts. And as we ask, let us remember that that which we ask, which is in the will of God, which shall is when two shall gather together, he's in their midst. And that which yes. they bind on earth 
will be bound in heaven. So let us ask for it. Amen. Father, my Father, Lord, 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 the <laughs> and it doesn't matter what I see the shape. It doesn't matter which way around. Lord God, I pray. I pray. I I pray. I pray. I pray. I pray. I pray. Give your God continues to tell us, brethren, First Corinthians 12, verse 9, say to another, faith by the same spirit, to another, gifts of healings by the same spirit. Amen. The Amen. healings are God's healing power. Yes. Even through impartation mm. or received directly from the Holy Spirit. That is why when we began to pray, we said we were calling forth our destiny helpers who yes. are in this case, the relevant apostles, the relevant prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, deacons in our midst. Amen. Because Amen. we can receive this through impartation. Yes. Amen. Amen. So when you are around somebody who is manifesting in any of the gifts, humble mm -hmm. yourself, be friendly with that person so yes. that they may even be moved to impart to you. When they impart, you will receive it. Amen. Yes. So beloved, this morning, let us begin to pray and ask for the manifestations of the gifts of healing. One of the things about the gifts is you cannot give what you do not have. If you are a person of fear, if you've invited guilt in your life, if you've invited self-rejection, self-hatred, unforgiveness, bitterness, sin, pride, or rebellion, or you have opened any portal that opens doors to sicknesses or infirmity, know that you will not be able to give out. Amen? 
So Amen. this morning, Amen. let us pray and curse those portals that they should yes. dry out instantly from our midst. We Amen. are praying corporately. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let us Amen. pray. Heavenly Father, we come Lord, to us with manifestation of the abundance of healing. Of healing, Lord. Various gifts that we have this morning, Father, and our gifts to be both sick in here. As a law for the gifts of healing, we have any fear, any fear, because the spirit of self reflection. We confess the spirit of self hatred, unforgiveness, all the sick because Christ killed all the sick also Lord and we pray to you Father and you hear our prayers this morning Lord and be Father and overflow there be an overflow there be an overflow of the peace of healing in our midst Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved, we continue to pray according to 1 Corinthians 12, verse 10. It says, To another, the walking of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another, discerning of the spirits, to another, different kinds of tongues, to another, the interpretation of tongues. Amen. Beloved, Amen. open yourself to receive. Open yourself to receive yeah. and ask the Lord to release this gift. Amen. 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 So Amen. let us let us just unmute and ask that the Father will give us the grace to override the laws of nature. Amen. Amen. To flow Amen. in the power of miracle, the gifts of the working of miracles is the ability Amen. to look at a natural situation and override it. Amen. Amen. So you pray concerning different areas of your life. Override the laws of nature. Over breath. When you see those dry bones, you release breath. To release, to restore marriages. To, I mean, cause fruitfulness in barren situations. Amen. Amen. So let us, let us unmute and pray this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to As all Lord, the working of miracles, Lord, miracles in our In the name of Jesus, we receive the grace of God. As Father, that you would use us, use us, Holy Father, to provide the Lord for me. We use all the power of the bread laws of nature over breath, over marriage, over parents, over 
our bones, O heaven, the Father, is for every human fight just so that the Lord can use us, O Lord, to override the laws of nature, O Lord, to overcome the prosperity. Therefore, we pray that the actions that we see, people people are in bondage, we will not leave them, O Lord, in bondage. Join their stories and suffering. We are creating Lord, you work of us override your situations. How we should get to you this morning. We ask the Lord to be greater than things that are not Jesus Christ's promise to us. We are operating our ministry. 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 In our lives, may we flow farther in the realm of greater things. We are the Lord. the greatest thing is that just change the outcome of how you do it. Lord, that you are able to deliver, to deliver fast, and you are able to do it in this area, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Tell me, and I'm adding in my church. 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 We are yeah. asking for some are functioning in the gift of prophecy, yes. the gift of prophecy. Let us okay. ask the Lord this morning to touch our tongues once more and commission our tongues to tell forth his messages in various situations and always in accordance with his word and current work and in season. Amen. Let Amen. us decree and declare on common grace to host the gift of prophecy. This is one area where people quickly become boastful in, 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 in the ministry. Amen. So let us pray and ask Amen. for humility and maturity to function in this area of calling. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, that we will say thank you for the gift of prophecy. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of prophecy. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of prophecy. I pray that you, O Lord, would touch our tongues this morning and commission our tongues, Lord, that in various situations, O Lord, Father, and declare Lord, humility and the word of God continues to tell us in first Corinthians 12 yeah. verse 10 say to another discerning mm. of spirits yes discerning of spirits may we oh. receive the ability to serve in the body of Christ like the FBI amen so amen. that when they when strange spirits come when strange fires come 
will be able to identify them and yes. turn off those fires. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us pray and ask the Lord for the special grace to identify the watermark that he has put on the enemy. No. The FBI, mm -hmm. they have all the equipment to identify things. May that become our portion in the spirit realm this morning. Let yes. us pray. Precious God, our Father, Papa, you do not want to be the thief. We come this morning, Lord, and we ask of you for the manifestation of the discerning of spirit. Lord, may the <laughs> the <laughs> Continue to pray according to First Corinthians twelve verse ten. It talks of different different kinds of tongues, different kinds of tongues. So may we ask for new tongues, new sounds, new languages that will enable us to communicate with the Father beyond the limits of human knowledge. Amen. So let us pray. Father, we pray this morning for manifestation of different kinds of tongues. Amen. Amen. Love, let us Thank ask Jesus. for the interpretation Amen. of tongues. Amen. Amen. Interpretation of tongues so that every tongue that is released in our midst could be interpreted for the benefit of the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. So let Amen. us unmute and just pray according to the prayer point on the screen. 
Most gracious God, our Father, Daddy, we come to you as this morning. Thank you, God. The manifestation of the application of the the gift of interpretation Thank you in the name of Jesus. God is in our midst. Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord. Spirit of the living God is here. Thank you, Lord. And sing the gifts. And sing the gifts. And sing the gifts. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Receive and function in your area of calling. Thank you, God. Receive this morning. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive this morning. In the name of Jesus. I shake it, shake it, shake it. And the present is so. Languages, but I will 
when we cannot see you, Lord, we know that you are here. Even when our language hasn't changed, Lord, we know that you are here. We know that you are here. Know that you are here. Know that you are here. And this is our testimony that we have been baptized. The gift of the Holy all have been made. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, 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 Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We bless you, Father. We magnify your holy name, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And this is our testimony. For by one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, that is our testimony this morning. Even when we cannot feel it, even when we cannot see him, even when we cannot hear him, we know that he is here and we have received the ability to manifest. Beloved, as you go out, when you have Mm -hmm. any small prompting, flow in that area of the prompting because we have received this morning and we will manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Beloved, can we say our final greetings this morning? (laughs) Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Surely goodness has blessed us all the days of our lives. The house and the house and the house forever and ever. Amen. 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 God bless you all and thank you once more for fellowship with us this morning. Amen. 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 Amen.